Turning random internet drama into songs has worked out pretty well for Montreal-based singer-songwriter Lubalin. Please help. Ballads about a broccoli casserole recipe Please drop a stick. and a Facebook marketplace ad gone wrong have turned the 30-year-old into a viral internet sensation. So walk me through the moment when you knew this was a hit. I was kind of like studying. I was like, I, I had, so I had done a few. I was doing that. I did the like Lil Nas X, What If Holiday was sung by a choir and that kind of thing. Hey, it's a holiday. And I was kind of taking this all in and I was in a bit of a haze for a few days. I was like, I know there's a concept, you know? And uh, it wasn't like a eureka moment or anything. It was just kind of like, oh, that could be fun. Um, let's try it. And I tried it and it worked, yeah, I guess. When it comes to selecting the right internet drama to write about, when do you kind of know you've found something that will work? It's hard to say, like it's, they're tricky to find, you right? Like they, they have to be not too harsh because it's gotta be fun. Um, and they have to be like decently funny, like pretty funny. In terms of like, how do I know? Like the truth is for the first one, I wasn't sure. And then for the second one, I was like, mm, I don't know, it's kind of different. Like, I don't know. And then even for the butter one again, like it was like, I don't, I don't know. Like it, this one doesn't have any typos, you know, like there's all these. So it like, I try not to assume that I can tell. And I try to just go with whichever one is the most exciting. The one that you just did with Jimmy and Allison. <laughs> I mean, obviously that had some repetition. Blue cheese has mold in it. Blue cheese, Blue cheese has mold in it. How did that collaboration come about? That was crazy. There's a lot of what kind of salad I put it on. I imagine. Yeah, so they emailed me. And as soon as I saw the email, I like lost my mind. Uh, I could not sleep. Uh, I thought, how crazy is it? Because I've been a fan of the show for a long time. And, uh, and even when I was making the first one, I was thinking kind of like, Oh, it's kind of a Jimmy Fallon type of thing, you know? So like to get the email, I was like, no way, dude. You do more than just internet drama. You are a musician and you've just released Long Text. Can you tell me about the inspiration for this song? Who is she? Walk us through it. <laughs> um, so yeah, you would you, like, uh, I guess you could imagine that I might have written that after the internet drama since it's like about texting and stuff. Um, but actually I wrote that before even the whole COVID thing, um, I was on a Greyhound. I was traveling from my hometown back to the city I live in now. And it's nighttime and I've got Blonde by Frank Ocean playing and I'm in my feelings. And across the aisle, I can see someone's phone and I can't read what they're saying, but I could just see these long text message bubbles. And I was like, been there, dude, like that's a vibe, you know? And so I just kind of jotted it down and then I built the song around that later. So at the beginning of December, I'm pretty sure I had eight followers on TikTok. <laughs> now I have 2.4 million. Um, on Instagram, <laughs> I had like 600 followers or something like that. And now I have uh, over half a million. You can search Lubalin on all the streaming platforms. Um, you can also go to lubal.in, so L-U-B-A-L dot I-N. Um, and all my links are there for the different social media platforms. You are just this source of the joy and happiness that right. kind of takes us out of the moment. And thank you so much for, uh. for bringing us all of this joy. I mean, after I saw the first couple of videos, I followed you on Instagram and it was just like constantly refreshing, waiting <laughs> for that next video. So when when is the next video dropping? What's next for you? I don't know when the next video is going to drop. There's definitely, I definitely do want to do more. I also like, I want to do some different concepts um, that I hope people will like, uh, maybe not as much. Well, you're so talented and I really can't thank you enough for being on with us. And I can't wait to show all of our viewers and listeners a little bit more about you because I think there's a lot of interest and hopefully this will kind of show people as well that you are an artist and, and get some of those uh, EPs and singles out too. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you for having me on. It was a, it was a pleasure. It was fun.